Hello everyone, this is Sarah from Defection Gaming bringing you the final part of the fight. Um, Steam crashed and it looks like the aliens have taken their turn, but it also looks like my group of people have moved up in ways that I can't comprehend. <laughs> So, um, something quite severe happened when Steam crashed. I'm not entirely sure what it was, but we'll just have to try and do the best we can for, my position. for what we can do, because my main guy is in serious trouble. So I can't have him doing anything too dangerous. But there we go, there's, there's the end of the... <laughs> of the game. I do apologise for the end crash, but essentially what it did was move my um, move my psychic guy forward and what it seems to have done was kill the ethereal on his own. And the rest of it seemed to be uh, that my guy had mind controlled and hurt the other support. So that's essentially what you missed was those what the hell is that happening? particular part, part but now is enjoy the end cinematic. Like a dying star. Becoming a black hole. At this distance, the earth will be consumed. Central, I'm bugging out. The package is not on board. Waited as long as I could, sir. Sir, the alien ship is in motion. What direction? What direction? Up. So, the world ends with Thorn giving his life valiantly for his friends and the planet. Um, we will, he will be truly missed um, as a valiant member of the XCOM project. So that was the end of my normal difficulty Iron Man XCOM challenge. Uh, the, oh, the, just go over quickly points. Um, 201 days it took me to kill the whole thing. I won 35 battles and lost none. I killed 357 aliens. I lost those two heavies early on um, because of foolishness, but otherwise that's all I lost. Um, I kept all of my funding countries. Um, and um, I did all the sort of end game content in the last third of the game. I sort of went from alien base all the way to the end in sort of one big hit because I enjoy powering up my people for uh, prolonged periods of time and then progressing forward but um, you know that's just how I enjoy playing the game uh, I'm just going to leave it on for I'm just scroll down slowly so people can see what they want to see um, all I can do is apologize for how the end boss battle ended I wish it could have been a bit better but I literally turned on um, Steam crashed so I restarted the game and Steam and it's working perfectly now. Uh, 
and um, that is what I came to. I didn't play any any further. That is essentially what I arrived at. The um, my main guy Thorn um, at the front, the chosen one or whatever they were calling him, um, who took who ha who was on basically no health. So it looked like that a um, he'd run forward and double tapped the ethereal or something to kill it straight away or everyone focused on the right hand side ethereal and and he took a very heavy beating from the other ethereals um, in the back corner the one that was being mind controlled um, it looked like um, my guys had um, not shot at her at all and the person that had mind controlled her was the other ethereal or the main guy one of those two and she was hitting my other support and he was very nearly dead um, but when it came down to the end I did start with my entire go so it looked like I just missed a go of content but it was the the go of content which I had no control over so I'm I'm very surprised at how that affected um, and I will make sure to reinstall XCOM, just in case it's something on this end um, problem with it because I reinstalled it again after a year and just started making this content so it might have been something buggy with that um, but I hope you enjoyed the show and enjoyed my content as much as I've enjoyed making it because I really really love this game I really think it's fantastic and I'm very very pleased to bring it to um, people um, I again I can only apologize for what happened but you missed as much as I missed, so I'm disappointed. Let's all be disappointed together in how um, it ended, but it ended with a win, which is at least something, and it ended with a, with the sniper being able to take off the head of the um, main guy with a double tap. Um, so it's it's quite. It's quite tactical that last part. So I so I would have enjoyed showing you the more tactical elements of it, but essentially it just took out a turn base a turn I think of um, of content for both of us, for me and for you the the viewer. But it doesn't matter. Let's not harbour on about it. The main thing is um, hopefully you enjoyed the whole process of going through it. And yeah, there were a couple of little glitches, but. Um, you know, uh, they're to be expected when um, running games and fraps and all sorts of things in the background as well. But um, I will, um, I will endeavour to fix them as quickly as possible. Um, I hope that uh, I've won your favour to see my content in the future. And if you want, if you have any particular games you want me to play, then please send me a YouTube message, not a comment, a YouTube message to um, to tell me exactly what you'd like to see. Um, also, um, I have downloaded a couple of new games um, that I haven't played in years. Um, Argrass Generations of War I've got quite recently that if people want me to play that for you then I will. And also Final Fantasy 7 which I thought I might have a playthrough of um, because I have haven't played that in about maybe 10 years. So it'd be really nice to go back to that game and play that through again because it was probably one of my favourite games of my childhood. So I might do that as my next content, but please let me know um, again through YouTube messages or comments on this video or something that what you would like to see me do. And um, as long as the game is inexpensive, I don't mind taking personal requests for certain games. Um, and anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my content from XCOM Enemy Unknown and uh, my other content such as Smite and Game Dev Tycoon and those sorts of things. I just hope we can continue to um, to have fun and make games for you uh, on this channel and I hope that we'll see you all soon. Uh, but anyway, thank you very much for watching. I do very much appreciate. Remember, please rate, comment and subscribe. Um, and uh, this is Sarah from Defection Gaming saying goodbye for now and I'll see you again on a video soon. Bye!